Hello, welcome, welcome back to Rift Wizard. So, you know, um, I think it's fair to say I am struggling a little bit with this game. A little bit, but I knew I was going to. That's, that's just how it goes, isn't it? Um, I mean, today I, I saw I saw an image. I've, anyone who's been like suggesting builds for me to uh, to try, I, I appreciate you. Um, I hope you don't mind. I have not been looking at those because uh, you know, as you probably know, as a lot of people who play this game know, um, discovering builds is is the game. So you know, it's part of the learning process of, of just like kind of figuring it out. But I saw a picture of um, today of someone who had gotten to level like realm 15 and they had three spells. It's kind of mind blowing to me because, you know, like I feel like it's, I always saw, I, I did think that you had to just t take a bunch of spells in order to combo things together but i think it's more likely about the skills in some ways than it is about the uh the spells so i don't know it's a you know it's a difficult thing to to figure out so like i i might i don't know i keep taking death bolt because i really like death bolt but i don't know like you know what i could do hear me out is I feel like you can build a lot of the level one spells into a late game build, something to that end. I think it, you can kind of do that. And I mean, like, we're covering a large amount of ground here, you know, conjuration, fire, ice, lightning. Um, there's very few uh, elements that are not covered here. It might be a good idea to just like keep kind of rolling with like a level one spell like a death bolt and then just try stuff um so i think i might do that but before i do i could just like i could hit i could hit dark and just like look at stuff i could do like a death chill um or we can look at skills and look at dark um and then just try and figure out how to build into something right so like for instance mega venom which is a poison build so you could go like uh death bolt and then poison uh take something take something that deals poison uh that would mean well i guess that would also mean that we would take poison sting which is totally fine we could try and go like dark nature um i do like poison it would mean that I, I think if we were going to go poison, I would really want to take uh, the skill that just naturally, like acid fumes, random unacidified enemy is acidified. So we would want to take this. We would want to take me mega venom, and uh, then in terms of skills, I would want to take something like whatever something that poisons obviously like poison sting is yeah toxin burst would be great um toxic spores would be pretty good thing about toxic spores is it is a conjuration so conjuration is a little bit like difficult because you want to maybe combo with conjuration more so than with the, the poison uh we could take eye of rage wait that's uh, berserk never mind boiling blood nope um, I don't know if wolf, if there is a uh, poison wolf, and I don't think there is. Earth and I don't know. I wish there were other ways of filtering spells, not just like by, um, you know, nature covers a lot, a lot of ground. I'd like to look at just poison. Oh, like combust poison. Consume all poison on enemy units. Deal fire damage in a two-tile burst around each affected enemy equal to one times the amount of poison consumed is an interesting idea so we could take dark and then build into poison and then build into fire 
is an un is an interesting idea. Um, so we would, Mega Venom is, is I guess the only reason I was thinking of dark and in nature is because of Mega Venom, but Mega Venom actually doesn't do anything for dark. I don't know why it's also a dark skill. Um, poison enemies taken four additional poison each turn. I don't know. And then acid fumes is also dark, which is bizarre. I don't know. Um, let's try dark poison. But to, so what we'll do is we're going to start with death bolt. And don't worry, I am going to take uh, poison bolt, but just not right now. Um, so we're going to move over here because they're for sure going to spawn a goblin before I get there. And then we're going to get rid of that nasty gate. I might be able to get away with only casting one spell. Nope, two spells. Still, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. So we have enchantment circle, ruby heart. I guess I could have looked at our gates before deciding all of this. Um, so I know enchantment circle is probably what we're gonna want, but they, there's a toxic bat, so hey. Um, so what could we do for enchantment? Uh, not Eye of Rage. Regeneration Aura. Basilisk ar Armor. No, no, no. Um, oh. Mercurize. I do like Mercurize, and it does do poison damage. So if we're going to build... And it's also a dark spell. Um, so if we're going to build into dark uh, poison, that is tempting. Pain mirror. Whenever you take damage, deal that much da dark damage to all enemies in line of sight. Dark damage. Mystic vision. All other spells gain five range. Interesting. Ironize. All allied units. Nah, 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 nah. Dominate. Death chill. Darkness. Basilisk armor. Magnetize. Hollow flesh. Affected units become undead and lose living. That doesn't sound good. Curse a group of units with the essence of undeath. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess maybe Mercurize. I do like Mercurize. But then that's Conjuration again. And I don't really want to make this another Conjuration build. I want to make this a Poison build. I, ironically, I do want to do Conjuration because I wouldn't mind having um, something that, like, you know, Plague of Filth. Wait, these don't do poison damage. I guess Toxic Spores is pretty good. I want to have, like, passive damage that does poison damage. So I guess poisons or Toxic Spores are something that we want. Um, so I guess Mercurize wouldn't be bad. I don't know. I'm, I'm really all over the place with this, so... Let's go to enchantment circle. This isn't bad. I don't hate this. Um, these guys are dark, but they don't have dark resistance. They have poison resistance. It's a good thing we have a dark spell. Um, what is this? Draught of memories. For 10 turns gain, double the effect of each memory orb you pick up. Interesting. At least on this floor, that would mean one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we couldn't pick up all three, but it's not bad. Um, definitely, we want to come here to this to this one. Um, we're in a kind of unfortunate circumstance because all of the gates are very spread apart. Do these guys have a range? Yeah, they have a range spell. Okay, I think. We can deal a couple, a little bit of damage to them each. And, well, I, we should make a skeleton first. Because they're not going to, uh... Well, I guess, I guess I have to do it this way. I don't want to get uh, poisoned. But my undead should not be... Yeah, they're 100% resistant to poison. So I'm not sure why they're taking so much damage. Oh, they do two physical damage. Weird. Well, still, I have uh, I have a pretty good bat that should be able to do some good work. Oh. Okay. You guys need to take care of those gates. Alright, we're good. 
Nice. Perfect. So, um, I'm just concerned, like, this is, this is two, uh, orbs. That's pretty good lined up like that. I could maybe, um, use the, the draught of memories now. Enhance fire or lightning or ice spells with whenever a fire, lightning, or ice unit dies, the spell has a 10% chance of gaining a charge. Um, I, I don't know, maybe holy circle. I always try and like kind of fit a round pig in a, in a square hole when it comes to this game. I, I think I want a, a ruby heart. We only have two orbs here, so I think it would be worth just using the draught of memories now to get two extra points. These are memory orbs, okay, cool. Okay, that's a pretty good, we have a pretty good like slot of points. We could keep continue hoarding them, honestly. Um, we could start learning some skills. We could, uh, well, what do we, what do we have for enchantment? Just arc enchanter, arch enchanter. Um, gain two max charges. Enchantment spells and skills gain three duration. Enchantment spells and skills gain five damage. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. So, um, well, we could take an enchantment spell at the very least. But I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. Like, the best I have is Mercurize because it builds into poison. It is raised as a quick silver geist, flying on dead metallic units with many resistances and immunities. Geist has max HP equal to the cursed unit. We could, oh no, I mean that's, we want to look at enchantment. I was about to say, we could look at conjuration skills. This is the thing, is I, I don't, I, I cannot keep a working memory of all of the skills that exist, because there's just a ridiculous number of them. Whenever you cast a sorcery spell, copy it. Last three turns. Well, I mean, our death's, death bolt is a... Sorcery, multi that's an interesting spell. If we could increase the duration, we could. We have just barely not enough, but it would it would be cheaper, I think. I don't know if it, it's, it's displaying the upgrades cost as is or with the um, discount, but it might be that I could increase the duration. And then we could take a bunch of sorcery spells this is an interesting idea. Twilight Gaze. All enemies in line of sight lose 50 dark resist and 50 holy resist. Eh. I don't, I don't know. Imp Swarm. I kind of want to take something high level. Because we have a ridiculous number of skills right now. Or our memory points, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Let's try something ridiculous. Let's try uh, a multicast. And then, um, can we upgrade it? We can upgrade it to four duration. I mean, that's not as good as I was hoping for. Multicast gains one copies. Let's, uh, keep it as is. Maybe we could learn another sorcery. Like, all the spells are sorcery spells. Um, kind of want to pivot. If we're doing multicast sorcery spells, I think that, like, Lightning Bolt might be really good for something like that. Because it's going to cascade, but I don't know. Maybe I just like the cascading effect. Let's look at sorcery. Let's see what we could do here. I mean, I really do like Chain Lightning. Chaos Barrage. Fire eight bolts of chaotic energy at random units in a cone. Each bolt randomly deals nine fire, nine lightning, or nine... Physical damage. I mean, this sounds like a lot of fun. If only I could channel that. Fan of Flames. This one can be channeled for up to 10 turns. Can we look at, we'll look at uh, Sorcery and Dark. Touch of Death. Mm. I don't know. We, we could come back to Toxin Burst. 
I don't know that I don't think that that is necessarily a good combo so I guess I'll just do death bolt for now and we'll we'll think on it I'll think on it a little bit enhances fire or lightning or ice spell with whenever a fire lightning or ice unit dies this spell gains a 10% chance of gaining a charge ah uh, if the unit died to fire lightning or ice damage this chance is increased to 30% I really don't think I can make that work at least not in this run I think that we want extra health, if I'm being honest. That Aether Dagger could also come in handy. Sorry for taking so much time to, to think, but this game really is a, a thinker. It's a thonker. Enemy units in line of sight of the user lose all resistances and immunities. Interesting. Um, this is not a great setup if I'm being honest. I don't think I like this setup. Seven range. So they have they have a pretty ridiculous amount of range. How much health do they have? 16. They have resistance to arcane, but we are doing sor uh, sorcery damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn here and I'm gonna try and take this guy out before he can do anything. Of course I did a bad didn't I? All right, we're going to use our multicast um, right away. And then we're going to... This guy's not living. This guy is living. 12 arcane damage. Jeez. I, I already messed it up, didn't I? So I don't know how we're copying multicast. Copy it. Are we still in multicast mode? I think I, I think I messed it up. It's gonna take me a second to figure out how that works. So you have to forgive me. This guy's got 16 health, so he should be able to do a bit of work. Um, we're gonna take that guy out. We are gonna take some damage, unfortunately. Gonna get our health back. Might have to use a potion. I might just take another spell. Probably a for sorcery. I think I should honestly go with what, you know, my instincts are telling me and, and grab chain lightning. You don't get a lot of casts for that, unfortunately. Which is uh, a good reason not to take it. Yeah, probably shouldn't have taken that. I don't know. I'm, I'm very bad at building in this game it's frustrating it is a little bit frustrating because like i i try to make sense of it all and it still doesn't make sense to me and i am like continuously proven incorrect at every turn um but like that's not the game's fault that's just like it's it's a difficult game as people have said uh, I don't think I need to use a spell on that gate. And I am correct about that. Okay. So, um... Things are not going well. I had to use a mana potion. We got a mana potion back from this floor. But all the same, I'm not super happy about how this went. Really wish they could have killed that last dude. Okay. So we have four gates. Oaken Shrine enhances holy or nature conjuration spell with plus 25% minion health plus 10% minion damage. Summon minions gain physical resistance and holy resistance. An interesting spell or uh, shrine. I don't know. There's a lot of enemies there that I'm not happy with. Ice Circle. Um, sorcery Circle. Hey. Um, enhances lightning spell with damage enemies gain a non-stacking negative 25 dark and arcane resistance for 10 turns. Uh, cool, but I don't think I can really make use of it. I don't know if I can, like, make that work. Oh, this is an interesting looking floor. I actually think I'm just going to drop myself right on the sorcery circle. And, uh, take something. We could upgrade the death bolt... Um, but I just, I want to, I want something, I want something good. I want something really good. 
Deal 16 fire damage in a beam. Deal 16 dam lightning damage to tiles adjacent to the beam. Interesting. Unleashes a five tile burst of storm energy. Each tile and the burst takes either 21 ice damage or 21 lightning damage. Uh, so like, how do we make this whole thing come together? Like we've, I've, I'm taking sorcery spells purely because of our multicast, but what we really want are sorcery spells that we would want to multicast multiple times. Like we would want to, we would want them to happen multiple times. Obviously, that's any spell. But um, it, it helps if there is, like, a benefit or an extra reason, right? There's something else going on. Ghost Ball is pretty good. I do like Ghost Ball. Holy Fire. Vertical line and 25. Holy Damage in a horizontal line. Teleport to any tile adjacent to a chasm. Combust poison, right? Except, so this would copy that spell. So this is maybe a reason why uh, this is a good candidate. I don't know if this would mean that it would do it twice at the same level of poison. I have to assume no. Um, toxic burst and combust poison sounds like a really good combo. Thunderstrike. Deal 24 damage to the target. Stun all enemies and two tile burst around the target. I think I took that once. Um, you know what? I kind of want to jump on this combust poison and then toxic burst. Because I feel like that's not a bad idea. Deal one poison damage and inflict poison on all units. And then Consume all poison on enemy units. I don't know, like, do you, is this going to work or is it only going to do one poison damage? Like, one extra damage. These guys are also resistant to poison and lightning. So it might have been an uh, unopportune moment to, to try something like this. Still, let's, uh, let's try it. I'm going to try my multicast. And we're going to do a Toxic Burst. And then a Combust Poison. I mean, that did actually work. It even worked on the things that were re resistant to poison. So that's not bad. I'm still multicasting, so I'm going to use my uh, Death Bolt on this guy. And that did actually kill him. But they weren't living, so that's fine. Uh, so the thing I need next is that uh, acid fumes. I think this is a pretty good combo. Now we just need to, um, you know, kind of reduce the poison, the poison resistance of all things. Does this is this the only line of sight on enemy units? Deal fire damage and then two tile burst around each affected enemy equal to one point. Okay, well, we're fine. Um, oh, this guy's resistant to dark. Oh, that's a darn shame. It's gonna take a few more hits to kill that guy. Um, so we just have these gates left. We aren't really doing any damage to them right now. Let's do... Uh, oh, we can't reach anything. Oof. We could do in line of sight, reduce all resistances, but we're not in line of sight of the gate, unfortunately. Kind of feel like I need to use a teleporter. I could teleport here. Why is everything red? Weird. What, what is happening right now? Range 50. I, I I don't know what's happening. Why can't the, why is the teleporter not functioning at all? <laughs> Weird. Okay. 
These guys are not resistant to um, Death Bolt, but they're they're constructs, so they're not going to turn into. Um, what is happening? Are we blind? Oh, we are blind. What blinded us? Was it the steel spider? Was it the raven? Applies blind for three turns. That's, that's what it was. Okay, so we're going to wait one turn, and then we're going to teleporter. It's weird that the teleporter is um, also, like, affected by blindness. Okay, so let's try... We're going to do another toxic burst. I'm going to do another toxic burst. Am I, did I hit myself there? And then we're gonna do a com combust. And then I'm gonna do a multicast and do chain lightning on this guy. Oh. We have 20 health left. We have 15 health left. These guys do a lot of damage. Are these guys resistant to dark? Yeah, they are. Poison as well. This was a bad floor for us. I'm going to use a healing potion. I need to take care of that gate. Um, again, we're going to poison burst or toxic burst. And then we're going to combust poison. I got rid of that gate. We have other problems to contend with right now. And we are also poisoned. Is this guy doing poison damage to us? Applies poison for 10 turns. Well, that's a real problem, isn't it? Uh, this guy is not affected by or resistant to lightning. So we're just going to go ahead and lightning them. This guy is resistant to lightning. There's one more gate I have to take care of, unfortunately. I have to watch what everything is resistant to. Um, all right, we're gonna have to eat a lot of poison damage, unfortunately. Do a chain lightning. We're out of chain lightning. Fresh out of chain lightning, I'm afraid. Okay, we've got a couple of skeletal ravens that should help. Might even do the job for us. Probably not, actually. Okay, that that we're out of spells, kind of. Four. We took a bit of damage there, needlessly. I really wish that our dude would hurry up with the gate. Uh, I don't want to use another spell if I can avoid it. Combust. Do it! That got rid of the skeleton. They can also be affected by this. So we're going to pass some turns until another raven appears. Then we're going to toxic burst them. And then... How come we can't... Is this only in line of sight? Is he not poisoned? He is poisoned. Oh, okay. There, there we go. All right. I don't know. I don't know why I was so confused there. So I took a lot of damage here. I'm going to have to use this potion right away, unfortunately. But I am learning. Things are, things are not quite so hopeless right now. Uh, I do want to get toxic fumes. So that would require either dark or nature. Um, crystal power. Your sorcery spells gain two damage. No, I hate this one, actually. Low key, truly dislike that uh, combo. Holy circle is tempting. Enchantment circle. Kind of want to just go for a ruby heart. And that one has a mana potion as well. And the gates are all pretty close. What are, okay, these guys have a pretty nasty range. They are 
fire and dark resistant, unfortunately, but they're not poison resistant. There are these these steel spiders are kind of the worst. There's four gates on this floor. Okay, I don't know if I can consider that one to be honest. Orc spore beast, orc flame zealot. Uh, I could do another enchantment, or I could take another sorcery. We could just upgrade one of our sorceries, honestly. Like we could upgrade uh, multicast. Wait, that's an arcane. Never mind. Um, chain lightning. What would uh, this do? Combust poison gains one multiplier. I feel like the radius would be better. The radius is kind of tempting. And then we could increase the radius on toxic spores. Let's do that. We'll increase the radius on toxic uh, burst. And then increase the radius on combust poison. And I actually think that that's not a bad combo. Um... Now we just have to make sure we only go where things are not resistant to poison or fire. So these guys are all living, living nature. Um, these guys heal, but that's okay. I actually think that this is not a bad floor. There are some ranged units, but that's okay. We can deal with that. All right, so we're gonna guzzle a, kind of tempted to use up what we've got before I use a potion. I can deal with this. How much health do these guys have? 30? Okay, that's kind of a problem. Let's come here. And then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try our new toxic burst, which has got a nice radius to it. Really, really nice radius. Poison everything there. Uh, I wish I could reach something else before I use the combust poison, but it doesn't matter because using the combust poison means the poison is gone. So using combust poison twice before you use the toxic burst is actually not great. Hey, let's try this. We're going to multicast and I'm going to try combust poison and see if it does it twice. I can't really tell if it did, if I'm being honest. So we're going to hit all these lads. They're probably going to hit us as well, but that's okay. That's pretty good. I think this is not a terrible combo. Um, and we made pretty good use of our last set of spells. So I'm going to drink our mana potion now. And um, we can start heading up. And uh, like we have a really nice range. We can hit all of them and then combust. That also hits the gates. And then we can um, hit. This is this is working. This is actually working. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Hit all of them and then combust all of them. That's going to hit the gates as well. Then we can use a chain lightning to just kind of hit, hit those gates. Um, wouldn't mind hitting this guy with a, a death bolt. But he's going to move out of the way, unfortunately. Okay. Um, so let's just kind of... Can we chain lightning these guys? Yeah. There we go. Just to, just to get rid of the gate. That's, that's all it is. Um, so what I want to do is wait for a gobbo friend to spawn there and then use combust combust poison it's kind of a waste and it actually doesn't even get rid of the uh the gate so i don't think we can really do that i don't think that's viable So I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead is we're going to just do a combust, uh, sorry, a toxic burst. And then I'm going to use a death bolt before they die. This guy is ripe for toxic bolt. They've got not terrible health. 
I wouldn't mind upgrading our uh, death bolt. At least with like more charges. Trying to work my way up there and it's kind of, I guess I should use some chain lightning. Is that, is that a beam? Does that actually do a beam? I don't think it does. I, I kind of wish I could have you made use of that guy. Um, okay, let's do another. I, I'm a little bit conscientious about how much mana we're using. We're gonna toxic bolt all them and then combust, just so we're like making our way up there a little bit quicker. Let's use a chain lightning to wear these guys down. Oh, that also hit the gate. And then. Um, Death bolt, and then he's gonna do enough damage that we can death bolt that. Same there. Uh, all right. So, should oh no, okay. Get in, get in line, so we can we can okay. There, that should be enough to take out that gate. This was a pretty inconvenient. Oh my god, still. It was a pretty inconvenient level, if I'm being honest, but uh, it's okay. I wish I had some more chain lightnings. I'm almost out of death bolts. Just, just take out the gate, please. Okay. Okay, this guy needs taking out. Um, it's not a great position to be in, if I'm being honest. That guy, we're going to take some nasty damage in a second. Uh, what do we want to do about that? I only have the one death bolt left. And I can't use our toxic burst combust poison because I am in the radius right now. Okay, I'm going to use... I'm going to use the, the storm troll crown. And I understand that that is kind of a waste. I forgot that those crates this create gates every seven to ten turns that was a complete waste i apologize i thought that it was going to give me some trolls not troll gates so that's really unfortunate that was a complete waste damn it okay what we're going to do is we're going to use toxic burst hit this guy and um I'm gonna unfortunately take some damage and I don't think there's really anything I can do about that. I don't know what we're doing anymore. It's, it's like pure chaos. I wish, I hope they just go over and kill that gate. Just go over and kill the gate. Thank you. Appreciate you, bud. I appreciate you. Enhances holy or fire or lightning spell with. This spell regains one charge whenever it is used to kill a demon. Um, stoning shrine. Ar enhances arcane or holy or dark spell with. Whenever this spell or a minion it summons kills an enemy unit, two random, e random enemies in line of sight are petrified for three turns. Be kind of interesting to do something with that. I don't know what, maybe toxic burst, but that doesn't kill anything ever. And then just a ruby heart with a ton of healing wouldn't actually be the worst idea in the world. What? Oh, okay. All right, well, I guess I, I walked into a, uh, I pressed A to collect the, the rest of the goods and then walked into a storm and died. Shucks. That is a real bummer. I think, I think that's a real bummer. Um, so, uh, this, this was Rift Wizard. Thank you very much for watching. I, uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, certainly hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.